Hello. Hello. Welcome to Friday with Friends. friends. <laughs> I, see, and what's bad is it sounds so good when we do it. I'm like, yes, we crushed it. Then we listen to it back. <laughs> not good. Yeah, yeah, not good. But not good. we will be together soon enough. We are hoping the next time we come to you, we will be able to be together. But yep. Friends with Friends is our opportunity to talk about what's going on in the real estate market, especially in the area that you are in here in upstate New York, Rochester, Finger Lakes area, and all these surrounding counties. So that if you have any real estate questions, we would absolutely love the opportunity to be your realtor of choice. I am yes. Mandy, and I've got Abby alongside of me. What side? Here. Don't know. Up, down, all around. <laughs> and today we're talking about, we're kind of switching up. We've talked a lot about how this virtual market is impacting us. We've talked a lot about the phases that we're in. But today we want to talk to anyone who has a home. I don't care if you're buying it. I don't care if you own it or if you're renting it. But we're spending a lot of time here. We are. We are. And obviously things are opening up, but we are still just in general as a society are spending so much more time at our home so we really wanted to talk to everyone don't have to be buying or selling and really focusing on organizing in the key areas of your home that you can organize to get the most out of that space yes and it's literally like inch for inch and maybe yes. Alex and i are coming to you with the fact that we have been crazy organizing and yeah Call it spring cleaning, call it trapped in your house, trying to find all the things you can possibly do. But it really is amazing. We talk to a lot of organi organizing professionals who say, you know, and you even watch probably, like you've maybe seen Marie Kondo. The, the yep. power of organizing is, is incredible. And for us, we're just gonna talk about some key areas with the hope that there's one area that maybe you haven't thought of or realized that by focusing on that area, it's gonna impact the way you live in your home. It's going to make you even love your home even more and that's that's what we want so using yeah. using all the space and organizing it in a way so that you can make sure you're you're loving it and appreciating it for all that it's worth and really this is because you're right we just did this you know we both you were like i just did my shed and i was like i did my linen closet yeah. you know like we're coming from real life experience here that we just did in our own house and it made our lives so much easier that we're bringing it to everybody. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, so key areas. Abby, do you wanna start with the first key area that we're talking about? Yes, yeah, so number one, as you probably would anticipate, the most important, the heart of the home, they call it, kitchen. <laughs> so there's so many pieces to this, but what's really important is that you just look at the key spots in your kitchen as number one here. First and foremost being the pantry or the space that you keep all of your food. This is a great time to really start going through all of that, anything that you just don't use anymore, throwing it away, um, and then even starting to organize it a little bit more. So getting some bins for your pantries. Um, I know you did that with your pantry where you can have all of the kids like granola bars and stuff like that. So it's so easy to just pop them in there um, when you get home and just keeping that nice and organized so they can use it too. Exactly. And, and if there's other moms out there, you're going to be able to relate to the idea that sometimes you want the snacks easily accessible and sometimes yeah. you don't want the snacks easily accessible. So you have to have like two different snack areas. But truthfully, when you have, when you realize how much stuff is in your pantry that is not going to be used, that is when we start to collect a donate pile and you're able to see yeah. like, listen, I have had this in my pantry for years, this does not need to be here anymore. We're talking about cleaning, we're talking about organizing, but really making sure that you're using the space as efficiently as possible. So you're, you're having things that actually should be in there as well. Perfect, perfect. I was like the one time I was helping you put your groceries away and you got like three things of tomato paste and I was like, Mandy, why do you have so much tomato paste? She's I like, I don't know, I just keep ordering it. <laughs> I was on a soup kick, and one time I forgot tomato paste, and now I have 4,000 of them. But if anyone needs tomato paste, call Mandy. She's got it. Um, another oh. cool organizing tip for your pantry, for your kitchen, would be a spice rack. I need to do this. My spices get all over the place, and then they're not organized, and I can't find them. They're like two bucks on Amazon. So grabbing one of those and really just organizing that space will make you feel so much better when you're going to cook dinner tonight. 
I actually did the container store. It's kind of dangerous, so maybe don't go, but there's, it's called okay. the container store, and it is dangerous. It's kind of like an Ikea thing, I would think. Just yeah. a lot of things you didn't know you need, and then you're like, oh my gosh, I definitely should pay a million dollars for that. Um, the other thing we talked about in the kitchen, so pantry, number one, within the kitchen, the other parts, like utensil drawers, like how often are we cleaning? How often, um, you know, those spoons, like your, your big, like pasta spoons, do they belong in that drawer? Can you create space for your spoons to go into a different drawer? Are there things that you don't need all the time that can go to a secondary location from that utensil drawer? We talk about the junk drawer. We all have, uh. okay, maybe you don't have the junk drawer, but how can you just spend some time just to organize them? And the last in the kitchen being freezing and fridge just how can you go through and look in that freezer what has is no longer good or what will you not be eating how can you just make this space and yeah. what we're hoping with is to maximize this time that we are spending in quarantine to find opportunities to fall back in love with your house again and we always find and there's yeah. literally studies on this and all the things that we've had documentation from organizational professionals that talk about organizing, especially like Abby said, the heart of the home is so, so um, beneficial when you really want to fall in love with a place that you're probably really bored of right now. Right. And also spending so much time in with everyone cooking at home and all of that good stuff. Now, if you don't have a junk drawer, comment below and let yes. us know because however that happens, we need to, you know, get on board with that. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you some extra love if you do not. Yeah, have a junk drawer. exactly. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Anything else in the kitchen? No, I think that's it. All right, perfect. Give us number two. Number two is closets. And you're like, okay, I get this. Well, when we talk about closets, we're referring to all the closets from your, your coat closet in, you know, right when you walk into your bedroom closets, your hallway closets, linen closets, all of these things. And especially right now, we're in upstate New York. So there's this transition yeah. that is happening from crazy winter. Literally in one week, it was like negative a million degrees. Okay. Not literally, but then that same week it was <laughs> 90 degrees. So yeah. as we're transitioning to really spend 30 minutes to take out all your winter jackets, stuff them in a bin, find a secondary location or keep them at the bottom, just making sure that we're transitioning out those winter clothes and that are so, so chunky and take them away. In terms of yeah. hallway jackets, the, all of the, I don't know about you, but your kids, all your winter clothes, are they, are they donatable because they're not going to fit anymore? Boots, shoes, all the gloves, secondary locations, or just make sure you're consolidating, taking away boots that you're not going to be wearing. And now you may be pulling out the sandals. All of this stuff is going to be so much, allow you to be so much more efficient. And I guess with For the, sure. the linen closet too, I mean, this is your favorite one, but just tidy up the linen closet. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because in the, my hallway or like my coat closet, I just had, no one judge me, okay? I know this is a safe place. I had like a, a mound of shoes. Like it was just like we never really got to it. We did the rest of the house. It was organized, but the shoes in our front closet just never got there. And at the beginning of the shutdown, I was like, I'm getting a shoe rack. I'm doing it. And it just makes our life so much easier when you know where the pairs are. <laughs> And you know where the pairs are. And so I went to like Target, got a shoe rack and it fits right in there. And it's made our life so much easier. And now we enjoy that closet again. You know, before it was, I'd like look past it and close the door quick and make sure no one else saw it. But now we can use it and leave it open and feel okay about that. So love a good shoe clean out guys. I know it's difficult, but we can do it. Um, and then linen closet. Yes, there's, that's a spot where stuff gets lost you know, at the back where there might be, you know, lotions or, or towels or something like that, that you just forgot was back there. Take it all out, organize that. Um, I actually bought like a few bins from like home goods or probably target, something like that. And now we kind of have like our separate stuff, you know, in bins, just keeping it all nice and organized, which has been amazing to keep the rest of the space organized too. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's ever lived in like a small house, so my first house, it was like kind of this uh, apartment style and you don't have square footage. And here I am not taking advantage of all the square footage. And it's like, yeah, come on, get some perspective, Mandy. All uh -huh. right. Number two, the second session I'm going to talk about is closets. Again, we're going to hopefully pique your interest with some of the spots to encourage you to organize these key areas of your house to get the most out of your home. What's the Perfect. third section, Abby? What's the three, the third area? So number three is the office. 
I'm sitting in mine right now. Um, and that is something that I've worked on as well. Got myself a desk and a chair because moving forward for us and for pretty much everyone else, there's going to be a ton of working from home moving forward. Um, and if that's the case, we really want you to be able to feel comfortable there. And again, love that space that you're going to be spending eight hours in a day. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that we have found and that we're working with a lot too with people in our world is, do you have an extra charger? Put them in there. Get them all ready. Are all of your utensils avail available? If you have a Zoom, if you are on Zoom a lot, what's your background look like? What does your lighting look like? Just really making sure that your office space is a comfortable space and not a yeah. space that you just, where maybe we were using it in a certain way and now we're not using it or we're, we're using it so much more. So the yeah. office space is, is a key thing that it is worth investing the time in when we're spending the amount of time in it that we are now. And you can get yourself, you know, again, a really affordable desk spot. So what I found to that I just love is now I have a spot for all of my work stuff. You know, before it was my computer was always in my kitchen or on my island or I was in the office, whatever it might be. Now that we're spending so much more time at home, everything has a place yeah. because, you know, we have that designated area. And I think if you don't even have an office space, that's okay. It can just be a space that you're using and just keeping that nice and tidy so everything has a home. Yep, I even have some people who have like their little bin where their dining room table turns into their office. You know, whatever yeah. it is, just making sure that space that is where you are doing work, you have all the things. And sometimes it's a quick, oh, I'm gonna take that charger out of here. But spend that time, you will get, you will get a lot of return from that. Yeah, definitely. All right, okay, awesome. awesome. The last one is outside and we kind of have some two different ideas. So the first part of outside is this outdoor storage, your shed, your garage. It is amazing in upstate New York how dirty these places get when we are just not continually taking care of them. And for someone like me who has two kids, it's not a whole heck, no, you like two, I have like 20 kids. Anyway, for me, I don't clean them out as much. And the value that I have gotten from being like, I can just roll my Bob stroller into my shed instead of battling and twisting things around has been profound and amazing. So organizing, organizing that shed, clearing things out. Uh, we keep talking about donating. If you do Facebook Marketplace too is another way where you can either you know sell it or you can donate and find a way to trade when Facebook Marketplace. There are these bags, I don't know if you know what they're called, Abby, but they're the bags where you can just put a bunch of stuff in it and I think you buy them from Lowe's and someone will come and take them out like kind of like a dumpster. Yes. So, and, and, or you can do, you know, hang up things, but clearing everything out to make sure that everything does have a place in the shed was such an important thing um, for me that then allowed everything else to be more functional. And when I go and yeah. mow my lawn or when I go take everything out, I'm like, oh, I love this house. <laughs> I, that's such a, that's such a great point because when things are easy, there's less stress. And that's when you can say, wow, I'm really comfortable and happy and content here. And I don't feel like I need to go somewhere else or do something else. So just having that piece of, yep, I'm going to grab my lawnmower, walk out, boop, boop, and you're good to go. It, um, it definitely makes such a difference. That's such a good point. And, yep, and then patio space. Yes. So everyone's outside these days. We finally have some warm weather and some sunshine. So really just making the patio, again, a comfortable place to hang out. Um, nowadays, weeds are crazy um, with all of this, you know, rain and then sun. Uh, I don't know about you, Mandy, but the weeds in like the patio, everything, just taking some time to clean that up, maybe grab a rug, um, really inexpensive option to just warm up the space. And then if you just have your table out there, it really makes that more living space. So if you ever feel like you're contained in your house, you feel comfortable to come outside and go onto your patio because you've done a little bit of hard work to get it there. And especially with patio furniture, um, I, I like Facebook Marketplace. I just like like seeing what people have. There's been yeah. so many people who've been redoing their patio. So the buy sell sites on Facebook are crazy with mm -hmm. all new patio furniture, not new, but like new to you patio yeah. furniture that you really can spruce your outdoor space up a bit to feel like you are getting use out of it. I mean, just think there's so many people who don't even have a space outside to utilize your space, whether it's lawn and you just, you know, set up some, set up some, um, you know, some bricks for a fireplace or something like that. Just yeah. really seeing that as additional living space options. That's just amazing. And that we wanted to make sure that we did not forget 
forget about when we're talking about these key areas in your house that we feel when you take advantage of allow you to love your house even more. Perfect. I was just going to be like, jump on Facebook marketplace real quick. I know. <laughs> Check that out. But yes, it's so important when you think of how much time we're spending in our houses these days and forever um, to really make those spaces organized will make such a difference and really make you love your house again, for sure. Yeah. So For that's sure. what we talking about. It was, we, we loved kind of these fun ones where we get to inspire you to do something with your house, whether you are renting, whether you are a homeowner, you can do all of these things. So we talked about the kitchen. We talked about closets in your house. We talked about an office space in your house. And then we talked about outside. So hopefully one of those things inspire you. Abby, what's next on your list? Um, well, you have, I'm definitely going to go on Facebook marketplace because I like my patio furniture, but we're spending so much time out there that I think I could get something, maybe a bigger table for when, you know, we start to have people over and, um, maybe like something a little more comfy too. So I might try and upgrade that a little bit. Um, what about you? I've got the office on my radar. Yes, the you office. Do. The office became kind of my catch-all, so I've got to really, I've got to really do that. But did a lot of work on the outside shed. Of course, it was ninety degrees the day that my husband and I decided to do it, but it works. <laughs> All right, and well, guys, definitely share, send us, text us, um, yeah. send us on Facebook if you guys do any major rehab. We love seeing our clients. I know one of our clients put like a pergola up outside. Another one of our clients redid like the entire exterior with a new porch and things like that. So definitely post those and tag us in them because we'd love to see them. We love to see all that stuff. We're kind of obsessed with your house. So. Kind of. Yes. We love, we love your houses. <laughs> well, that's all for us today. Thank you guys for tuning in to Friday with Friday friends. With friends. <laughs> Was that good? No, I normally do a delay, and I thought that if I went faster and I went slower and we got way up, but Friday with Friends is our opportunity to talk about what's going on in the market, answer any questions, and just be a resource for you, all things real estate, so that if you have any real estate needs, we'd love the opportunity to be your realtor of choice. You can find us at friendonyourside.com, anywhere on Facebook, social media, the friend team, you can always find us. That's for sure. We are easy to find. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will see you soon. Bye. Happy organizing. <laughs>